in this section you will learn how to initialize your project with a type script and then you will learn how to build your first web server and then also you will learn how to define your first root api endpoint that will show welcome message on the browser so let's begin here we have installed the type script using the npm install command but we have not initialized our project so to initialize the type script specify npx tsc double hyphen init and hit enter as you can see this command create a new file psconfig.json and you can configure your type script settings so here you need to configure uh, one thing and that thing is this root directory so uncomment this root directory and here specify the directory where all your ts file will exist in this case specify root directory as src and then here within this create a new folder and name this folder src like this under the src folder create a new file and name this file index.ts and in this file import express from express so we have already installed this express library before we are importing this express from this library and also let's import the two things first is the request and second is the response so what is this request and response these are the types provided by express which helps type script understand the structure of http request and response now next step is to create a express application to create a express application specify const then a equal to express like this so this line creates a express application and assigned to a variable ape that you can see here you will use this ape to define routes and middleware now next let's define the port number where our server will run specify const port and here you can choose the any port wherever you want to run your server so in this case i'm going to choose port 3000 now next let's define the middleware specify ape dot use and then within this call express.json method so this line is the middleware what it does this enables the ape to parse the incoming data in a http request it is useful for handling api request with json body so if you have a multiple api endpoint and suppose you are creating a new user you will send the user detail in a json body and that json data is a parsed or converted into a http request using this line of code you will understand this later but at this point just understand this it parts the incoming json data into http request now next let's define our first root api endpoint to define first root api endpoint specify ape dot gate this is the gate request and then as the first parameter specify the path or the base path which user will access in the browser so in this case it is the root and the next parameter is the request of type request response of type response and then within this we can write our logic for this api endpoint so here i'm not going to write a complex logic but here i will write a code which will print a simple message on the browser hello type is script with express so specify here race dot send and then within this specify hello type script with express so here we are sending the response and that response contain the message hello type script with express and now remember the structure of api this is how we define the api so we have a bunch of http method like a gate post put patch but here we are using only the gate in later section we will see how to use the post patch delete all those http requests now next we have defined our web server but we need to start or listen this web server so here specify ape dot listen and then within this specify the port on which this web server will run or on which you can listen to this web server and next to it specify function and then it is going to return a simple message on the console console.log and it is going to print server is running at http 
local host and then the port number will be 3000 like this now we have created our first web server so to run this web server go to your package.json file and under the script you need to add this property dev and with the string node mon src slash index.ts and after adding this line go to your terminal and within a terminal specify npm run dev and hit enter if you see message like server is running at localhost 3000 which means you can access this server at this url go to your browser and within browser specify localhost 3000 and hit enter and now you can see the message hello type script with express and this message comes from this api endpoint that we have defined here you can see here you can specify different path you can say here user and now let's go back and again execute this and you can see cannot get which means we have not defined this path if you specify here slash and user then we can see the message hello type script with express let's go back here and using this ape.gate you can define different kinds of gate api endpoint so i hope that you understand how to create a web server and how to define api endpoint start the web server and listen to that web server your one thing i want to tell you that you can see here the port number is a hard coded here so we need to hide this port number to hide this port number let's create a new file here and name this file dot env and this file is going to contain all the secret data all the information that you don't want to expose like api key like database credential or anything so here is specify port which is equal to 3000 like this and now we need to access this port within this index.ts file so to access this port we need to install another dependency and that dependency is dot env install this dependency and after installing this dependency here at the above import dot env from dot env and then next we need to load the environment variable so I specify here dot env dot configure like this and this line loads all the environment variable within this env to this index.ts file so how we can access this port environment variables so here specify process dot env and then specify the variable port like this and this is how we can remove the hard coded value and you can see still our web server is running working let's go to browser and refresh this again so i hope that you understand how to create a web server listen to that web server create api endpoint and how to create a file to store our credentials or important information that we don't want to expose so in the next section we will learn about all the other http requests like post patch and delete so at last i want to say don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and thank you